Mother's Day is great. Mother's Day is when they, you know, burn my toast and jump on me in bed. And I love it. It makes my heart melt. After three years of trying for a baby, we discovered that we were going to have twins. And we were super excited. We were going to have two babies. At 26 weeks, we were told I was going into labour early. It was the most frightening thing I've ever been told. When they were born, we were eager to find out. There was a bit of confusion over what sex they were, because when they're premature, everything is a little bit different. First they called out it was two boys, then they called out it was a boy and a girl, and then we noticed the dynamic in the room was quite strained. The doctor turned and said, have you chosen a name for your son? And we said, yeah, his name's Jamie. And he just sat on the edge of the bed and said, Jamie didn't make it, we've lost him. David collapsed next to me. I just grabbed the baby from the doctor and unwrapped him and I ordered David to get his clothes off and get into bed with me because I wanted as much body heat around this baby as possible because he was cold and I wanted him to be warm and alive. We put his skin against my skin and then I just held him. Close to my heart, I moved his head so that his ear would be able to hear my heart beating and cried and cried. So we told him that he had a sister and that her name was Emily and that she was going to be okay and that he needed to look out for her. And that we had big plans for him, for his life. We made a lot of promises, which we're happy to keep. And we described all of his extended family to him. So we're bawling our eyes out and holding him. And then he started to move. And we thought, what? <laughs> What's happening? And so we rang for the midwives to come back. We said, look, he's moving. He's breathing. And they said, he's dying. You need to say goodbye. And we never let go of him. His skin was against mine for the entire time. And then he opened his eyes and he grabbed David's finger and his tiny fingers only just covered the tip of David's finger and he held on and he laid his head back down on my chest and stared at his dad. It was the most astounding and amazing thing that had ever happened. We realised it was because we had held him and because he had the body heat of his mother and father and that soft cocooning warmth, that's what had brought him back and had given him the time that he needed to live. We didn't stop touching them from the moment we got them home because we knew how valuable skin-on-skin -skin contact was. It's what had saved his life. Sometimes when I hug them, I think I'm hugging them a bit too tight because I, I know how close I came to not having children. The twins are five in March. Our lucky little third baby, Charlie, will be four in April. The good stuff is when they repeat gestures back to you that you use with them. So sometimes they'll sit next to me and they'll just start patting my back or someone will stroke my hair. And I'm just thinking, this is bliss, I'm so lucky.